Hey guys, how's it going? Greg here. So I want to walk you through what I just did on my Husqvarna uh, riding garden tractor. Uh, an outstanding upgrade that I think everybody should absolutely do for the cost is quite low and the benefits are very significant. So what I have here, like probably many people have, is a middle to higher end garden tractor. So this is a uh, Husqvarna GT48 DXLS. So it's a 24 horse Kawasaki motor, fab deck, and most importantly, a uh, uh, tough torque K66 with a locking differential, a hydrostatic uh, transmission. So that's, that's about the highest and heaviest duty one that you will find on you know, regular, um, commercial, or regular um, residential kind of garden tractor. So anyway, really good tractor. Tractor like this sells for about in the $3,000 to $3,400 range. So it's a, uh, you know, moderately upper end garden tractor and I've really really liked it so far it's been outstanding except the other day my wife is mowing and the front uh, I guess this would be the tractor's front left wheel fell off like fell off fell off so yeah why couldn't it happen while I was driving I don't know but happened why while my wife was driving but she was good about it so anyway um, what happens is let me switch a little bit so the way that front axle is configured is basically, let me show you here real quick. Sorry, give me a sec. So you can see the exploded view online. Um, I won't bore you with the details here too much other than this is, this is how it goes together. Um, and a lot of higher end garden tractors are like this, which by the way, dirty little secret, many of the same brands run down the same line. Uh, American Yard Products, which is owned by Husqvarna, by the way. So Husqvarna owns American Yard Products, which makes most of the tractors that you see, right? Regardless of the badge that's on the side. The exception is John Deere. John Deere does their own thing. There's a reason green costs green, right? They, they do their own thing. And obviously John Deere is definitely a higher end tractor. But um, so anyway, American Yard Products makes a lot of these garden tractors for various brands, but it is owned by Husqvarna. So this is what the front end looks like. Uh, it's basically the steering spindle and it comes out into an axle shaft and then the, the wheel rides on that. Now, here's where it gets interesting. So you can see right here, that clip broke, all right? So that's, this is the non-broke one. The one that broke is who knows where in my yard. So that little clip, goes into a groove in the axle and holds the wheel and tire assembly on. That thing broke, therefore the wheel and tire assembly fell off. Now, as I got to looking into it, I could have fixed it for probably five or six bucks. I could have bought a new clip, bought the, the little hardened washer number 53 right there and, and put it back on. But as I got to look into, into it, so these tractors use just plain old bushings with a grease zerk fitting. So you pump some grease in once every once in a while, I think 25 hours, something like that. Pump some grease in there. Uh, the grease just rides on the shaft and then there's two bushings. Um, actually, if I scroll down a bit here, you can see what I'm talking about. So inside the wheel hub, there's these two bushings and I'll show you what those are right here. So there's one right there, one of the ones that came out. It's just a chunk of metal basically that presses in it's a bushing and then you grease it um, but that is really low end like I'm kind of disappointed that Husqvarna did not spend the extra five to ten bucks to put ball bearings on the front axle right a three thousand dollar tractor and you don't spend a couple of bucks putting ball bearings on the front of the tractor that's disappointing to me so it turns out there is a company that agrees with me on that called so HD switch as I was getting ready to order the parts to just replace it put the clip back on regrease it and be off I stumbled across these guys on uh, Amazon so HD switch makes a ball bearing conversion kit for these tractors and you can see right there ball bearing uh, bushing to bearing conversion kit Craftsman Sears AYP it's American Yard products Poulon Husqvarna um, probably several others any of the tractors that have a three quarter inch OD axle, so that would be 0.75 inch, and a one and three eighths inch ID of the wheel hub, 1.375 inch, right? There are many tractors that have that. You can see that right there. 
1.375 inch rim on a 0.75 inch axle. And instead of those bushings, you yank those things out and you put in ball bearings. You just pound out the bushings, uh, put in the ball bearings, put the, the washers in the, in the right spot as, as it shows you in the exploded view here, right? So all you do is just replace those bushings with ball bearings. And oh my goodness, what a difference it makes. At the end of this video, you will see a side-by-side. -side. I did one side ball bearing and I left the other side as, as grease and bushings and spun them both. And the ball bearing side probably spun three to four times longer. It's far lower resistance. So that will be substantially less wear and tear. You don't have to worry about greasing the Zerks anymore. Um, you might notice a slight reduction in fuel consumption, although it might be hard to detect. Steering should even be better because there's less resistance as you, as you turn to the tire rolling. Just all around for 20 bucks shipped, it's a no-brainer. You could spend eight to 10 bucks buying a clip and a couple of washers, or you can spend 20 bucks, do it right, convert the front end of your nice garden tractor to ball bearing and done. Never have to worry about it again, never have to worry about greasing and get the benefits of having a ball bearing front. So anyway, I wish Husqvarna and the other makes would just do that from the factory. They don't, but fortunately there is a solution. So again, just the, the HD switch um, front wheel bearing kit for 20 bucks. You can get it on Amazon. I'm sure you can get it in other places and it works awesome. Ta-da! So here's the pushed out bushings that hit, were hit out from the wheel hub. You can see the grease left over from that. You just grease the middle. And here are the slick HD switch uh, ball bearings that go in their place. Would you rather have standard old bushings, metal on metal contact, or ball bearings? Yeah, I thought the same thing. So it just goes right down in there. We'll take a socket and just tap it in and that's it. Okay, so here's the cutaway of it. You can find this online for most tractors. You can see there's a 13 washer on the inside and outside of the wheel hub, and then the big 53 hardened washer, and then eight, the clip that goes on the outside to hold it all together. So the HD switch kit comes with all that. I already have one of these on the inside. I'm gonna put the wheel on, then this one, the big one, and the clip go on that ready to go so here it is on it's pretty straightforward like I said the two small ones and then the big hardened one on the outside and that snap clip just take like a pair of channel locks and snap right in not too bad at least it was easy for me so that's what it looks like and you just put the rubber cap off and you're done make sure okay, ready here we go. One, two, three. You can hear the grease smacking around on the left side. And it's done. Meanwhile, the ball bearing side, that sucker will spin for another minute. So there you have it. My recommendation, put ball bearings in these things, done.